The problem in their quest to stand out and make a difference is that most coaches, speakers, and entrepreneurs take themselves way too seriously. At least that's how they come across when they're speaking live or on camera. Dan Kennedy, the world famous marketer, says nothing, nothing, nothing gets the audience on your side better than humor. And we all know this from experience, right? There's nothing worse than listening to a speaker who's too serious or too intense. The impact of their message gets lost. And we tune out from boredom. You can learn to use funny to make money in order to connect with audiences and stand out and sell. You can learn to lighten up, to cultivate your charisma, and to captivate the crowd. My name is Elaine Williams, and I am the CFO, that's Chief Funny Officer at Captivate the Crowd. And I love humor because it gave me a career, and it helped me lighten the heck up. My name is Elaine Williams, thanks for coming out. When I first moved from Texas to New York City to pursue acting, I could not get booked for a single gig. It seemed like every other actor in all of New York City was on Law & Order. I was more like, ma'am, can I take your order? I was running around auditioning. The casting directors wouldn't even look at me. I was too serious. I was too insecure. I was too intense. If they had been making a movie about my life, they would have picked somebody else to play me. <laughs> Finally, out of sheer desperation, and because 53 casting directors told me, lighten up, I took some improv and stand-up comedy classes. Not only did I lighten up, I found I had the gift for humor, which I didn't even know I had. I went from being invisible to performing for America's Got Talent, HBO, Saturday Night Live, I did the TV networks, I did New York City comedy clubs, universities, I was featured in the New York Times. I had finally found my funny, and funny money became my livelihood. So if I can go from, don't call us, we'll call you, to being a sought after coach, speaker, and entrepreneur, you can too. Now I'm not saying you need to become a stand-up comedian. I'm inviting you to put more humor into your speaking presentations and on video. You should be using humor to connect with audiences, to stand out and sell. You can be using humor to influence, to motivate, to get audiences to take action. You should be using humor to lighten up, to have more impact with your work, to have more energy. When people laugh, they feel better. And when you can make someone else chuckle, they unconsciously associate good feelings with you. You should be using humor when you tell stories to build rapport and trust. And nothing builds rapport and trust faster than humor. Why is humor so effective? Because it's so much more than just entertaining. Because it's about our shared humanity. The good, the bad, and the ugly. It's about our ability to empathize, to relate to each other. I can show you how to find your funny, how to cultivate your vulnerability, and still be credible. Like me, you can learn to use funny to make money, to connect better, to captivate your crowd every time.